Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the new video. And many of you are asking that why the energy was low. See, the energy was not low. Someone was there. So I had to speak so that that person don't wake up. Cool. Uh, let's see. Many relations to make characters frequency unique. Frequency is unique. Uh, a string S is called good if it if there are no two different characters in S that have the same frequency. So basically, I'm ultimately concerned about I have a string S having multiple characters. Firstly, I need to keep track of their frequencies. So I'm just breaking the questions down. Okay, I just firstly need to keep track of the frequency of the characters in the string S and then ultimately make sure that the frequencies because we have ultimately 26 characters in English alphabet, right? So that frequency of these characters should not be same anyhow. And ultimately my task is to run the minimum number of characters you need to delete from S to make S good. And what we say good, good as in that uh, the frequencies is no more repeating or they, it, it should not have the same frequency. Now, coming on that, how we can do it simply first, what we saw of that, firstly, we need to figure out what is the frequency of every character in S. So firstly, I will just go and ask, bro, what are the frequencies of every character in S? He gave me, okay, bro, the frequency of A is 2, frequency of B is 1. Now, all the frequency are done. Now, you're good to go. Cool. I... Um, ultimately I can go and now I will go on to all the frequencies because ultimately my task is to make sure that all the frequencies are different okay I'll go on to the first frequency I got a 2 okay cool next frequency I got a 1 oh again so basically I when I was I I gone to 2 so ultimately I'll make sure okay it's the first time I'm getting a frequency so next time for sure I should never get a 2 or if I'm getting a 2 I should make sure okay I should I should reduce it because the only operation I can do is delete so I can just reduce the frequency. So maybe in future, if again, I have got a two, so I would have make sure, okay, I will just reduce its frequency to whatsoever is not in my whole set. That is ultimately my logic, which I will be thinking in the back of my mind to actually make sure the frequencies are not same. But I encountered a one, it is not already there. So for sure, I can just use a one also and I'm good to take this. That's good. So basically number of deletions required were none because both the frequencies are different. Let's take a let's look at a different example. We have A, A, B, 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 C, C. Firstly, getting the frequency of every character, that's important. So I got the frequency of every character. Now I will iterate on these frequencies. Cool. Um, firstly, I get a three. Okay, for sure I'm starting off. So I can get a three anyhow, whatsoever. Now, ultimately, whensoever I'm going on to the next character having any frequency, I just need to make sure okay, I should not get a three at all. So I, I just encountered, oh, I encountered again a three, but I cannot take this three. So for sure, reduce the frequency. Keep on reducing until you have any, if, if until you have an element which is not in this set. So it is a three, it is in my whole set. So I'll just reduce it. Okay, cool. Reduce it, I reduce it to two. Again, um, it's in my set. No, it is not. Okay, cool. So it is a good frequency and it does not have been there. Operation of deletions I have used so far is one. And I can just put this two in my new set because I have now said, okay, now two is one of the frequencies which I have right now. Now I'll just land on to next two. Oh, but this two is uh, already there. Mm. So I need to again reduce it. And only operation I can do is reduce. So I'll just again reduce it. Uh, right, so I just try to reduce it, reduce it to one. Now I, I just keep on reducing until I don't have that in my set. Okay, I just have to use one reduce, like one reduction, which is the one deletion. And I will just put this in my set. Now, okay, everything is unique and I can just good to go. So ultimately it is just, okay, I'm going on to all the frequencies. I'm saying, okay, if that frequencies is in my set, okay, keep on reducing it until it is not in my set. and for sure, I will just keep on reducing because the only operation I can perform is reduce and I will for sure have to reduce if it is in not if it is not in if it is in my set. So uh, you just got to know okay, that you can just go on and get all the frequencies firstly and then you will just use these frequencies and check if it is in your set. You can just make one set of frequencies that a whole set size will be of 
26 characters uh, or like its maximum size it can be at max 26 because it will have 26 maximum frequencies in this and for sure uh, you can just keep on going and ultimately in the last you will have the number of operations when i say keep on going as in you will just keep on going on this element see if it is in your whole set if it is not okay just push this element now you will go on to the next element see if it is in your whole set uh, this whole set right if it is in your whole set okay cool um just keep on reducing the value and keep on checking as you are reducing okay if it is still there in my set again reduce it if it's still there again reduce it oh no it is not there okay cool now i have reached a good frequency number i can just move on forward to the next number i will just move on and see at two okay two has already been there in my set again keep on reducing it until it is not in my set and that's the number of operations required that is one way in which you are using a set uh, again there can be multiple, multiple such ways to actually solve this up. So, okay, it is the one way, which is actually an easy way. And still the complexity wise, everything will be more or less the same. It's just that it can be a bit, okay, you are using a set or an unordered set to actually use this up. So that can be more or less a bit same, but they can be another way also to solve it out. Now, what if the interviewer asks you, hey, you cannot use a set or you have, you cannot use any other data structure. Just simply do by simple, like you cannot use a, another data structure. So again, for this, if, you, if I just ask you that, what's your main task? Your main task is that you have to make the frequencies as different and for sure the frequencies should, I can only reduce the frequencies. So when I'm at three, okay, that's the starting point. I can just use a three. Now, when I am, when I was at three, okay, I know okay, it's a maximum frequency. Okay, for sure. Now the upcoming frequencies, which I will get will be the frequencies which will have lower frequencies. Okay, so next time, I'm expecting any frequency to come in should be less than or equal to two. I'm expecting, okay, I have used a three. It's the first, it's the maximum frequencies. No worries. But as I've used a three, next time I am expecting anything which comes in should have frequency of a less than or equal to two. Here I got a three. I was expecting a two or lesser. So how much I have to reduce? I have to reduce from three to two. For sure, I have to, redu I have to reduce from three to two. So operations, number of deletions required at this step is three minus two, right? Which is actually one. Okay, cool. One operation of deletions is required. Ultimately, I know that for sure my ultimate aim, which means ultimately it will become a two. That I know for sure. Now, when it will become a two, what is the next expectation I will have? Any number which will come in should be less than equal to one, right? Next time when it is done, next time I am ex expecting any number which, which should come in should be less than equal to one. So I will just go on to the next number. Oh, it is two. It should have been less than equal to one. So for sure, reduce it down. Again, I have to reduce from two to one. So again, after reduce from two to one, again, one, one deletion will be required. And that's how you can simply sort your frequencies in the ascending order and then go from the back or you can sort it in the descending order and you can go from the front as you are. And for sure, you can just skip the first element altogether because that's a maximum frequency element. You can for sure take it. But as you have, as you have taken this element you know that okay the next element next element maximum frequency it can be okay this is the maximum frequency which it can have which means current frequency let's say if i am i have sorted it in the ascending order so my as my frequencies are two three three now as i am just going from the back because i want to go from the maximum frequency to minimum frequency and i will just skip this particular because it is already maximum so i can just for short take it now i am at this particular i now I know one thing for sure that what value I can put this in. So I just know, okay, it's uh, value is three. So it's value should be less than equal to what it's value should be less than equal to something. What it's value should be less than equal to frequency of whatsoever. The value is here. And it is nothing but the frequency array. So if I just say frequency of i plus one minus one, 
I plus one just say okay it's the next frequency which, which like which was the higher frequency which I took uh, like last time and minus one will say this current value should be less than equal to this value so it should be less than equal to my two and that is what I'm saying as I'm moving okay the current value is three it should be less than equal to two so this value this frequency of I this frequency of I should become a two which means this value and also number of deletions would required would be the current value which was 3 minus what is the value which I have made now which is actually a 2 simply getting okay I will get number of deletions at this step is 1 again for the next iteration as you know the frequency has now become 2 so it has now changed to 2 again as we'll go on it will just say, ask him, bro, I am now the new I, you will be the I plus one, for sure, as I'm going from the back, because it is sort of in the ascending order. So I'll just go and ask him again, bro, um, for sure, if you are a two, so my expected value should be less than equal to one, right? So my expected value now should be less than, less than equal to one. Now, what will happen is, I will just reduce this value to, to actually a one. That's simple as that. Rn, what if this current value would have been a zero? Cool. You would not reduce it because I just want some value which should be less than. So I will just say, okay, if frequency of i, if it is, if it is less than equal to, so I, if sorry, if it is more than or equal to my frequency of i plus one, then only I will apply this operation of reducing the frequency of i. Else. If it is already less, if it is already less, then I'm very good. I'm very happy. Just keep on moving back. Keep on moving back. Now, I will just simply say, okay, bro, your, your frequency was 2, but you wanted the frequency to be 1. So, bro, uh, your frequency was 2, but you want to reach at 1. So, number of deletions required are 1. So, simply add this number of deletions in your answer. And that's how you can simply go on from the back. If you sort in the ascending order, I can simply keep on reducing the frequencies and we'll get the answer. So your ultimate aim was that, I'll just show with this example, your ultimate aim was that you will firstly sort these frequencies in the descending order. Now, when you have sorted the frequency in the descending order, you know that, okay, for sure the maximum frequency can always come in. Then it can always come in that, you know, the next expected value expected value should be less than equal to three minus one, which is actually two. Because it needs to be distinct values, should not be same. So next expected value should be 2. Now I am at 2, next expected value is 2. Bro, I am very good, cool. When I, I will go on to the next, but yeah, as I am at 2, so the next expected value should be actually a 1. Right, okay, cool. I will reach on to 2. Oh, bro, next expected value was a 1. Bro, but you are a 2. Bro, please, you have to delete. So number of deletions required will be 2, which is, the, which, is the, which is this value, current value, minus the expected value, which is 1. So because I will have to reach from 2 to 1. So number of, number of deletions required will be actually 1. And ultimately, it will also reach to a 1. Now, is, it has reached to a 1. So new expected value will become a 0. Just one lesser. Cool. Now, I am at 1. Expected value is a 0. Again, I have to reduce it. Cool, reduce it. From 1, reduce to 0. Operations required are 1. Cool, simply it will get reduced. And next expected value. And as we have reached a 0, so which means 0 as in the frequency is 0. So number of deletions required are none. So as soon as the frequencies of any number reaches 0, I can just simply break down because simply frequency as 0 is just saying that element is a no more there. So if it is no more there, no worries to calculate anything whatsoever. Cool. And that's how you can simply get the freak, get the number of deletions count. It is actually a 2. Cool. Let's quickly see the code again. Uh, I showed you both the ways to actually implement it. Both are pretty easy. Simply you can just go and implement it. Uh, firstly, I just get the frequencies of all the characters. They are just 26 characters in the English alphabet. So it's simply a 26. Now, as I showed you, I will just simply sort the frequencies out. As I have sorted the frequencies out, I'll just go on from the second last because for sure, uh, I have sorted all the frequencies out. It is of a size 26, right? From 0 to 25 as the indexes. So I'll just skip the 25th index because I know that maximum one can for sure come. 
So I'll just start from the second maximum and because I know, okay, it can for sure come because it's the maximum value. So with this maximum, I will know the expected. It is a two. Now I will just go on and try to reduce the second maximum onwards because there's no point of reducing the maximum value. There's no point of reducing this, right? So I'll just go and start from this value to actually start reducing. Cool. Uh, now I will just start from the number of deletions I will have. Now, as I showed you, I will go on from the index 24, which means a skipping index 25, which is the maximum value, right? Now, firstly, uh, that's the main condition. And that is, okay, if the frequency actually is zero, so for sure, there is no point to actually go on because after zero, all, all of them will actually be zero because it is sorted in the ascending order and we are moving from the back. So for sure, every number after it will actually be a zero. So please don't go, please don't go on it. And now the main condition was that when to go on, when the frequency of I, if it is more than or equal to frequency of I plus one, as I showed you that your number will keep on changing. You here, you saw the frequency of I was more than or equal to even if it, it had been a four, it had been a five or it, it had been a three for sure. I have to apply the reduction operation. Now I will just say, bro, firstly, man, get the previous value, whatsoever the value you have right now, because this right now value, because I know, okay, the right now value is actually a three, right? This right now value and the expected value is actually a, my expected value, expected value should actually be a two. So this previous value, and for sure expected value is two. So it will be overridden with the expected value, right? But this previous value three will help me make sure the number of deletions, which is actually a three minus two, right? Actually, it's a one. So I just simply say, oh, what's, the pre what's the previous value? So as to make sure that it will help me in the number of reductions required with the previous value. And what is the current value? It, hey, it we have got it, right? Now, uh, what is the new updated expected value which it needs to have? It needs to have the updated value with the, okay, what is the frequency of the above element minus one? That is just showing, okay, above element minus one is the new expected value. And for sure, I don't want the numbers to go negative. So please make sure that, okay, it reaches zero at max. It should not go beyond that, right? Uh, so I just got the new expected value. Then I will just update the number of initials required with the previous value and the new value which I have got because I have reduced from this value to this value. So it, it will give me the number of deletions required. And that's how you can simply return a number of deletions, ultimately solving the answer. Again, uh, the time is actually O of N, but yeah, simply sorting will take this particular time. Uh, so that's not like not much. It's a constant time and space is also just O of 26. It's also a constant. So that's also not a worry for us. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.